Hey, welcome back. Paul here. Today I'm going to show you um, Mare Island uh, Shipyard and is now decommissioned and there's a lot of buildings out here that are run down and it's like a ghost town and they're rebuilding it um, for businesses over time. But I thought I'd come out here and film it before it's all torn down because in 5-10 years from now this will be gone. This is one of the oldest shipyards on the west coast. I believe it was uh, started in 1854. Um, and uh, my wife's grandfather uh, worked out here and made submarines. This is one of the places where a lot of submarines were made and some infamous uh, World War II ships. So um, there'll be some interesting things to look at throughout the video so come along and let's check it out together here's a building that's um run down as you can see and i'm going to be filming out of my car window because they don't want you walking around there's no trespassing signs everywhere and they say you can be prosecuted so i'd rather not be prosecuted but it's kind of um Kind of eerie, reminds you of like Chernobyl almost. And then, and then amongst all this stuff, there's actual working businesses like this business here is a they make earthquake protection things. So it's a pretty bizarre location. I'm gonna turn around and go through the other way so you can see it from a different perspective. But this giant building here um, was all military. Uh, I believe they uh, decommissioned uh, this Mare Island military base um, in the late 80s or early 90s. So this is just one of the many things that are um, interesting about this area. Probably not a place you'd want to be walking around late at night at, that's for sure. But interesting nonetheless. Well, I parked here and you can see um, <clears throat> it's another old military ba building here. I'm not sure what this one is right now. It might be active, it might not be. But it's interesting. I'm going over to um, show you this uh, drawbridge, which is quite interesting, built in the um, in the war times. Some old tracks leading to the bridge. I'm sure in the war times they use these a lot. I'm not sure what's going on over here with these panels. But they're building something. There's the other part of the bridge. And here we are. You can see some old um, docks that have been capped off. Platforms. And it looks like the tide is uh, moving pretty good out there. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I'll just walk up to half of the bridge and you can get a more view of how big this place is. This is a pretty huge place during the military times, war times. And you can see Um, they still dry dock some ships and there's actually a museum here but unfortunately due to COVID-19 the museum is not over, open but it's a ship um, that you can go on and tour 
So I'll have to come back once um, this whole COVID-19 thing's over with. But the ship, I haven't figured out. I mean, they used to hire people to sit in there 24-7 and someone wants, you know, under the bridge, they raise it, but I don't know how that works now. I guess they have to call ahead or schedule it because there's no way that someone's just sitting there these days. It's not active enough to be doing that. And I'm not sure how deep this water is, but I imagine it's pretty deep because, you know, that's where they made submarines. You can see the old submarine docks. And I missed the opportunity to show you these buildings. Literally like six months ago, there were buildings off in the distance here that had submarines painted on them. So if I can find a photograph, I did take a photograph of them before they tore them down. Uh, I'm going to insert it in the video so you guys can see that because they're pretty pretty neat so coming up on the bridge now and over there you got marina obviously you can see that and there's actually a seafood restaurant in one of those rear buildings over there And here comes a fishing boat coming through the, under the bridge. So, we get a little closer to the bridge. When the bridge is activated, these come down, these arms like railroad crossings. And I've actually had to wait a few times for it, and it's pretty um, interesting to watch. The entire center of the bridge raises up, and if you look at the top of those blue columns, there's a giant weight, and that weight counterbalances the roadway lifting up. Um, so it's pretty pretty cool to watch if you're into that kind of stuff <clears throat> and this blue paint is interesting so right here is the close to the separation You can see the cables going all the way up and this whole thing lifts up and allows uh, ships to go in and out which is pretty wild I don't know when it was built probably I, I mean, I'm guessing it was built during the war or right before the war All right, let's go check some other things out. Some more abandoned buildings here. I'm sure eventually these will be torn down and made into something else. And look at this, they got an old um, amusement ride here. This is probably part of um, Marine World. Um, Africa, USA. You see the orca rides over there? Interesting. I don't know if I can get a view of the other side on the walk around. Well, this is the other side. There's not a lot here. It's definitely kind of eerie out here, though. Quiet. Over here, I just saw a, like a telephone truck. It's all smashed. I 
<laughs> I wonder if a tree hit it or who knows what happened to that thing, huh? It's all like crushed. Who knows what happened there? Some more of those abandoned rides. Orcas. Probably, like again, probably from Marine World. And some here too. I'm just kind of driving because this property is so big. But they got, you know, these old wooden ones. I mean, excuse me, brick. I mean, look at these buildings they got. These old brick buildings that are awesome. I hope they don't tear them down and they restore them. I mean, look at that one there. I'm not sure what it was in the past. I would imagine something to do with airplanes because it's so tall, you know? Pretty tall. Reminds me of those buildings that uh, blimps are in. Drive around a little more and check it out. trees in front of it these houses are just cool I had to stop and get out these are just pretty amazing um, southern style I guess you'd call it quarters in 1015 huh, I got a lemon tree They even have um, stained glass in them. In this old, um, I don't know what you'd call that. Pretty cool, but look at the old stained glass up there. Imagine there's some history here, huh? Pretty neat stuff. Let's put a stained glass up there. And then they got one right across here too, just as it's nice. And a lemon tree right here. Those lemons look good. Nice and nice. History is this. I love the old stained glass in these. Huh. Pretty neat. And this one is a uh, quarter of them. Wow, look at the inside of these things. Look at the end. I don't know if you can see the fireplace over there, but pretty cool interiors. They don't make them like this anymore. I mean, this is a big house. I 
Let's pray they preserve these and don't tear them down. These columns, too, the detail in there. Don't you think? This one over here is a good view of the whole thing. They even have a balcony at the top. I'm sure there's a basement, too. Pretty neat. I'm going to check out this other one. I guess they all kind of follow the same pattern. They have that woodwork on them. This is the back of the other one. Pretty nice stuff. back of them. I'm going to go around to the front. Not much to look at back here except those stained glass windows. And these archways. You know what this would be good for is a haunted house. <laughs> now this one might be, kind of looks like it might be, people have lived here recently, I don't know. I don't want to invade on someone's property now. It's pretty barren. It's a piano there. It's a big front door. Look at that. Even the doorknob's got the detail. They're all kind of the same pattern, but man, they're pretty inside. And big, big mosquito screens. Hmm. Check these out. These are old, uh, I guess, some kind of missile, a replica of one. This is just a park out right here in Vallejo and Mare Island. These, I imagine, are torpedoes. And they got their old, uh, Propellers back here. Pretty wild stuff. Let's see what it says here. Oh, German. Yeah, it's a torpedo. And I'll zoom in with you guys. Pretty cool. And we got this old gun here. Um, got an old bell here. Uh, the bell. Cast and steel from England. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. I don't know if it has a bell on it anymore. Probably not. No, it does. 
I'm not going to ring it though. It's probably quite loud. Let's see what else we got here. It's like a memorial. Fourth Marine Division. These are cannons. 24 pound from the SS Independence. Twenty-four pound from the battery. Another cannon. It's not much in it now. And the last but least is this replica of a rocket. This is pretty neat too. Hmm. A lot of neat stuff out here still in Vermeer Island. Nice to see. Let's see what else I can discover. Another plaque, and this plaque is for an anchor. And it looks like it was used in 1882. Look at this thing. That's an old anchor. It's another cool old building. Looks like those are cactus. Interesting. I might as well go up there and check it out though. This was made 1954. Now it's dedicated. Construction. Wow, construction started in 1854. So this is uh, quite the historical building here. Office building in the way there. This other one's got some cannons in the front. Uh, it's closed. What's this? this is, look at the sprout in this plaque here. Oh, By the way, these things hurt. They're like uh, rose thorns. It's pretty wild how they're growing right out of a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of. Oh, there's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Hey kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. There's kitty cat. Oh, I wish I had some food for you. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. I don't have anything. Wait, I do. I got some beef jerky in the car. I'm going to go get my beef jerky. I'll be right back. I got some beef jerky for these cats here.
get it. Go get it. Good girl. You want some too? Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You want some more? I'm not gonna hurt you. You want some more? Here. 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 No, it's right there. Right there. Get it, get it. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Well, you never know what you're going to discover, huh? I love cats, so... It's kind of making me sad a little bit here. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. I got nothing like beef jerky. Now, this cat over here was terrified. Here, here. I'm gonna give him some. Here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Here you go. Here you go. Come on. Come on. You want two more? Here. Want two more? Here you go. Here you go. Here. I'm not going to hurt you. I like kitties. Kitties are nice.
Kitty is going to get some too. Maybe Kitty's discovering it. He's smelling. He's smelling. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's done it. He's done it. Awesome. He's a skitty kitty. Okay, let's get you guys. Don't be mad at me. I'm feeding you. And the other kid is eating it. Damn, this guy's so sad. I guess he won't come back and bring him some more food. Well, I came back to feed these uh, feral kitties. I came back to feed the feral kitties with my daughter, Sasha. And boy, are they happy. I just gave them a can of Friskies. So this is an update on the video from the other day. And we got fresh crystal water. Don't care to like. Don't care would never do this. He would never eat that much. Well, well. Yeah, they're not homeless either. Water, water, water. You hear him growling at me? Yeah, he did. Refills, refills. The front of this building has um, cannons, old cannons. Pretty wild. Oh man, how did I miss this eagle over here? Check this out. Man, they got some pretty interesting things here. Wow, look at that thing. That's pretty cool, look at that. Liberty bird. Pretty neat, huh? You can't even see the faded. It's really hard to read. I'll just focus on it for a minute. You can pause it and if you want to try to read it. Looks like it's all carved out of wood. Pretty wild, huh? Things you find just walking around the island. Oh, well, 
another found another interesting place now these buildings here looks to me like they've been restored and look at that there's a christmas tree over there i did see a sign mentioning a mare island museum that due to covid uh, i doubt it's open so i'll have to come back another time when all this stuff is open and not closed the big cranes there Check this out. That's pretty badass. <sighs> and the submarine. When you get up close to these things, you like you realize how massive they are. Pretty. And you see that you see like you could be looking through that window up there. Pretty wild. God, it's huge. Just think about that thing coming out of the water. How menacing that would be. If you were on the other side, enemy side. Pretty cool though, I must say. I'm glad I came out here today. I didn't realize there was going to be this much to show you and for me to discover. I've never, I've never seen all this stuff. And I've lived in the Bay Area a long time. There's some old cranes out here. And it looks like there is a ship being um, worked on. Sailor, rest your oar. And they got it's like some kind of tribute to the submarine. And they got this logo here. I guess you can call it a logo. It's pretty neat. Well, let's go see what else we can discover around the corner. Well, not disappointed. Look at all this stuff. There's a dry dock here. Check it out. And these big cranes. Pretty cool. These things go out with these sea railroad track looking deal. They roll on those tracks. Some over there. Pretty neat. Let's take a walk. And you can see the old wheels under them where they turn. Oh, sounds like blasting me. There's some history here, huh? Look at the wheels on this thing, like train track, train car wheels. Hmm. You can almost close your eyes and imagine all the hustle and bustle around here in the 40s and 50s. This dry dock is very cool. I've never actually seen one. So they come in, uh, this is full of water, the boat comes in, they shut it, and then they support the, I should say ship, they support the ship, and then 
uh, work on it out of the water. Work on the hole or whatever. Look at this one. This one's even more impressive. Very cool. <clears throat> Looks like they're all hydraulically uh, controlled by you know, electric motors. I think they're electric motors or hydraulic, I don't know. Pretty neat. And then you got this ship over here. Let's take a look at the ship. This is a different shot. And I'm gonna just hold this over the fence. You guys can check out the ship if I can reach. Pretty cool. Some more of that crane. This side, there's a sign that says the main hook capacity is 112,000 pounds. The whip hook is 18,800 pounds. And then it goes on to say the engineering. I'm not sure what the whip hook is. Maybe it's the smaller of the two hooks. It's a lot of weight. If you think about your average car, it's like 2,500, 3,000 pounds. And you get an idea how, how much that can actually lift. Pretty crazy. Helicopter cruising. That looks like a private helicopter. And <laughs> you never know what you're gonna discover. I walk in here and there's this huge Christmas tree. In the middle of the shipyard. This is called the historic core. A roundabout view. This is kind of neat. So they they put these um, wind. They printed these um, canvas. I don't know what they are, but anyway, it gives you an actual view of what it was like here in the past. Just pretty cool to get an actual view of what it was like in the past. Oh my, they got them all, all along here. There's those cranes that we were looking at. Huh, they got some entertainment for the troops. I wonder how old that is. It's pretty cool. It looks like the 30s. Or maybe even before then. And there's a submarine going out. One more picture I didn't film. Uh, pretty ladies there sitting on the some kind of um, trellis and I don't see what the year date was that to me looks like the late 40s early 50s all right 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of Mare Island Shipyard, one of the oldest on the West Coast. Actually, it is. It's uh, 1854. And I discovered a lot of neat stuff that I never knew existed, just like you guys. I could take this mask off. There's no one around. Anyway, so thanks for coming along. And if you enjoy my channel, subscribe and uh, do the little bell notification. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos. So you'll have a lot of entertaining things to look at. And I hope you enjoyed Mare Island Shipyard. Bye. See you next time.